Okay, so last week we started watching Dope Sick. I can't believe how many of them are good now. I definitely recommend it if you are into real life story, drama, TV kind of stuff. And one of the main plot points for the show was around a piece of medical research that it found that opioids were only addictive in 1% of patients. The most effective talking point are these magic words. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. They told me that less than 1%. And this research changed the medical thinking across America. And it allowed one particular company to introduce a new pain medicine into the American market which ultimately led to a huge health problem in the late 1990s, early 2000s. And the question you might be asking is, well, the research said it was all good, so what's the problem? Well, it turns out that the research just wasn't real. And the company had used a letter that was sent in by a doctor into a journal and then published and used that as the basis of the actual research. So instead of a 20 to 25 page document researching the pros and cons of what they were doing, it was a doctor who had some knowledge of his patients in a hospital and had written five lines in a journal. And I was so blown away by this that I was kind of questioning, what else do I think is true, but actually might be a lie? I'm Julian, Brands Director here at Hoffy, and today we're going to explore five modern myths that you probably think are real, but are in fact lies. In reverse order, number five, multitasking isn't a thing. You're probably watching this video while scrolling through your phone, checking emails, or doing something else. But the harsh truth, we all suck at multitasking. Science has consistently shown that multitasking reduces productivity by up to 40%. It increases mistakes and stress and causes mental fatigue faster. And the reason why? Well, it's because your brain can't handle multitasking. It just switches between tasks really fast, draining your focus. Despite this, companies still expect workers to juggle multiple projects, and people take pride in being busy. But the most productive people don't multitask, they single task with deep focus. Number four comes from crime and policing and is often coined the broken windows theory. Popularized in the 1980s by James Wilson and George Kelling, this theory suggested that visible disorder like graffiti or vandalism creates a lawless environment where serious crime flourishes. It does sound logical, right? The problem with it? Well, the evidence just isn't there. Studies found that there's no clear link between small acts of disorder and major crime rates. Instead, zero tolerance policies based on this theory have led to over-policing, mass incarceration, and social harm without actually reducing crime in a meaningful way. But despite the lack of proof, this idea still influences policies today. Number three, the 10,000 hours rule. Have you heard that it takes 10,000 hours of practice to master a skill? This idea, popularized in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, has shaped how we think about expertise. But the issue is that the original study never actually said that. The real study by Anders Ericsson looked at violinists in elite music schools. It found that the best players had practiced more than others, but not all of them needed the 10,000 hours. Some got there with far less. And it was about deliberate high quality practice mattering more than just hitting a number. Yet the myth persists because it's a simple, catchy idea. But talent, coaching, genetics, and how you practice all play a role. 10,000 hours alone won't make you a master. Number two revolves around a lie that has shaped generations of thinking when it comes to diet. For decades, we were told that fat is bad for you. So low fat diets became the norm. Fat free foods were everywhere. But the truth is, well, the sugar industry paid researchers to make fat the villain. In the 1960s, the Sugar Research Foundation funded studies that blamed fat instead of sugar for heart disease. This misinformation shaped global dietary guidelines for decades. But more recent research has debunked this. Natural fats that are in avocados, nuts and eggs are actually healthy. 
and it's actually excess sugar that is linked to obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Yet the low fat industry still exists, selling us processed sugary alternatives. This wasn't just bad science, it was corporate manipulation at its finest. Drum roll please, we're now at number one. You've probably been told that everyone has a unique learning style. Maybe you're a visual learner or an auditory one, or you learn best through hands-on activities. Well, research says otherwise. Multiple studies have failed to find any real evidence that matching teaching to learning styles improves outcomes. Instead, we all learn best through a mixture of methods depending on the subject itself. So while it might feel true, there's no scientific proof that learning styles actually exist. So now that you know the truth, how many of these myths did you believe in? Do let us know in the comments. These weren't just misunderstandings, they shape how we eat, how we learn, how we work, and yet we still accept many of them as facts. So the next time you hear something that sounds true, ask yourself, is this real or just another modern myth? If you learned something today, do give us a like and do consider subscribing, it really helps us out. We try and post videos nearly every week on subjects around culture, trends and brand. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.